Well, hi everybody. Good morning to you. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Thursday morning. Another fairly sunny day is on tap for your Tuesday with some light westerly winds. Um, shouldn't be too bad, just a touch breezy out west. But uh, outside of some th wispy thin cirrus clouds, should see plenty of sunshine for today. Uh, a few of those cirrus clouds passing through overnight tonight, which are very not very noticeable during the overnight hours uh, as they are during the day. So it should be a mostly clear night ahead of us. A few more of those clouds tomorrow. So I'll call it partly to mostly sunny for your Wednesday. Winds just a touch breezier out of the west and northwest, which will be very favorable for warming things up even more on your Wednesday. But then here come the changes Wednesday night. A cold front coming through Wednesday night. By uh, midnight, that frontal boundary, that'll be right here in the heart of the viewing area. Really from, it'll be about right there and quickly racing to the east and southeast. So that front as it passes through, the winds are going to turn out of the northwest. They are going to get fairly strong. We also could see a little bit of light moisture out there as well. Most of this is going to be rain. Uh, maybe a quick change over to snow, but I think it'll be too warm for much of the snow to accumulate. But a nice, nice little burst of snow, not out of the question, may reduce that visibility just a little bit out there. Much of that should push off to the east Thursday morning. There may be some lingering in eastern Nebraska Thursday morning. Then the big story becomes the strong northwesterly winds as we go into your Thursday and uh, also into Friday. A couple of days of very strong winds that could uh, exceed 50 miles per hour. <laughs> exceeding 50 miles per hour there uh, during the day on Thursday. So it's going to be a gusty couple of days there. Uh, may see some sunshine return on Thursday. Partly cloudy skies expected for your day on Thursday. But it's also going to cool down those two days as well. So enjoy these nice mild temperatures the next few days there. We'll see highs today into the low and mid-50s for the majority of the Local 4 viewing area. So we're looking good out there already today. Not bad tonight. Mid to upper 20s, low to mid 30s for overnight lows. And how about this for tomorrow? Highs into the mid and upper 50s and lower 60s, even mid 60s there to the south and to the west. Best day of our forecast by far. Enjoy it. Take advantage of it. If you still have Christmas decorations to take down, do it the next couple of days because after tomorrow, things go downhill. Now, still not too bad Thursday morning. Many of us still above freezing, which is why I'm not too concerned about snow with this event here. I don't think it'll be a major, uh, major snow by any means. This will be mostly light rain. I don't think it's going to be heavy moisture. But then Thursday, a cooler day. Highs in the low to mid 40s, which is still above average, but when you factor in the winds, it's going to feel much colder than that. Now, as of right now, there are not any high wind watches or warnings in place. Those will probably be put in as we get a little bit closer to that day if they're needed. Again, it's going to be close to the criteria for high wind warnings and watches there. So keep in mind or keep an eye on that in the coming days ahead. But enjoy this next two days before that drop in temperatures plus the very strong winds. Even cooler yet on Friday. That's our coolest day. Highs in the mid 30s, close to average highs but the winds are gonna make it feel colder. Now, along with that, there's still a chance, maybe a few a few flurries flying around during the day on Friday, can't completely rule that out. Uh, Saturday, not as much a wind, maybe a touch breezy still, and a few degrees warmer, but still, uh, you know, not too bad, upper 30s, that's a touch above average. Partly cloudy skies, a little bit warmer yet Sunday and Monday, not super warm, but a touch warmer and a little bit breezy there on Sunday. Uh, next week, it does look like we're gonna warm things up a little bit um, by the middle of the week. Although that doesn't look to be a major warm up right now. And then after uh, Wednesday, I think Thursday into Friday, we may start to see some colder air uh, return to our area here. I want to show you one final uh, graphic here real quick here before I get too far along. And that is our, uh, if I can find it here, uh, what our long range temperatures kind of look like here. If I can't find it, I may have to go to a different graphic here. So. Thought I had it pulled up and ready to go, but I guess I don't here. So I may have to go off screen real quick to show you that here. But uh, uh, I do want to show you one quick graphic real quick before we go. And that's kind of the long range temperature trends, basically. I use this one on the morning show sometimes. Here it is here. So you see the mild temperatures here the next couple of days, then that cooler air settling in late this week and into the weekend. Although no bitterly cold Arctic air is coming. We're not looking at anything like that. And then as we get into next week again, we're starting to warm it up a little bit, but notice no real big warm ups on the way. The cold Arctic air staying to our north, but getting closer to us. And then watch what happens at the very end of next week by Thursday into Friday here. We start to see that Arctic air get closer to us. So uh, we're going to be chilly at the end of next week. There are signs that we could deal with some much colder air for the final third of the month of um, 
of January. Uh, as we get past the 20th, 21st of the month, uh, there are signs that we may deal with our first uh, kind of Arctic blast. I don't think it's going to be a, a, a major Arctic blast, but it certainly is going to get be some of the coldest air that we have seen so far this winter if things stay aligned to where they are right now. This is a long ways out yet. Things could certainly change, but uh, keep an eye on the forecast as we get down the road. Uh, again, it's a ways away yet though, but otherwise, uh, uh, as for big time snowstorms or anything like that, I'm not seeing anything in the future over the next seven to 10 days. Some long range models hint at maybe some bigger storms down the road, but that's a long ways out yet. And it's just too early to get into any details about that right now. But at least for the next uh, seven days, not looking at any major snow on the way, a little bit of rain there early on Thursday morning, but mainly before sunrise. Well, with that, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you for watching on this Tuesday morning. Hope you all enjoy the weather today. Take care. God bless. Bye.